Hey friends, today on Due to the Travel Bug, we are in Ireland and we are trading in our Guinness for a glass of mead and attending a medieval banquet in a real Irish castle. Bunratty Castle is located in County Clare, Ireland in the Bunratty Castle and Folk Park. To be part of this unique dining experience, you have to purchase tickets well in advance, and then we highly recommend arriving the Bunratty Castle and Folk Park at least two hours early for a medieval banquet discount rate to enter the incredible Folk Park. Surrounding Bunratty Castle is 26 beautiful acres of Clare countryside that features over 30 buildings of a rural 19th century Ireland with village shops and streets all recreated and furnished as they would be at that time. There's also a school and doctor house, farmhouses with real thatch roofs and adorable farm animals. And soon it is time for our castle tour in an evening full of food and dance, once only preserved for nobility, but now can be experienced by all. Bunratty Castle was built around 1425 and has been called the most complete and authentic castle in Ireland. Guests are welcomed with a glass of honey mead and some juice for the kids. Now people from all over the world come to enjoy this award-winning evening of entertainment, great Irish music, song, food, and merriment in a setting fit for a king. We enter the grand dining hall, sit at communal tables, and are welcomed with traditional Irish song. Bid to you, welcome! <laughs> Entertained jugs of wine, water, and mead fill the tables, and first course is served traditional Irish soda bread and spiced parsnip soup. Marco, where are our spoons? We don't use them. Why not? That's medieval times. Can I get a knife and fork? There were no utensils in medieval times, hence, there are no utensils at medieval times. Would you like a refill on that Pepsi? There were no utensils, but there was Pepsi? Dude, I've got a lot of tables. Before we get to our second course, there's an urgent announcement. I have just been informed by my lord, the Earl, and we have a scoundrel in our midst. No. One dining here in the presence of the Earl may not be behaving himself as a true gentleman. Oh. And therefore, he must be punished. No. Take 
Me out to the ball game. Me out to the ground. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. I don't care if I ever get back to the Ritz root. Root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. In the end, Mr. Travelbug got off, and it's a pretty good thing, too, because our rental car is a stick with the steering wheel on the right side of the vehicle and drive it on the left, so we need him. <laughs> Second course is spare ribs with honey whiskey sauce, and after a food taster declares it's safe, we dig in. Third course is broiled chicken, fresh garden veggies, and a Bordelais sauce. And we finish dinner with an apple dessert with forks. <laughs> Dinner was spectacular, and we made some wonderful family memories. We were ushered outside where coffee and tea is served with a side of bagpipes. For more unique travel shows, like and subscribe to see where Doodlebug goes next.